Governor Kemp continues to tweet passage, positive, positive rather, messages about where Georgia stands in its fight against COVID-19. He says that hospitalizations are down, along with the number of ventilators that are being used. 11 Alive is where Atlanta speaks, and a lot of you have been sending in questions about what the numbers really mean. So we asked Rebecca Lindstrom to take a chance to break it down for us. We have heard a lot about testing lately, and some of our viewers have asked us, what do those numbers really mean? Well, take a look at the Department of Public Health's website. That cumulative number that they always post throughout the day, that represents the total number of test results they have received. That means that as of today, more than 250,000 tests have been completed. Some people, especially those who once tested negative though, get tested several times. That number may grow more than usual over the next few days. That's because the Department of Public Health was only requiring labs to report positive test results. As of Friday, they've now started requiring them to report both. So that should help us get a more accurate picture of capacity, just how many test labs in our state can process each day. Based on the data we have now, in this past week, labs processed on average 9,909 tests per day. In the past few days, we've also heard the governor talk a lot about this statistic. It's the number of positive cases in relationship to the total cases that are given. It's going down, but that really shouldn't be surprising. In April, when we were only testing the sickest patients, we had about 33,000 test results, so the percentage of positive cases was over 26%. Now we've opened testing up to anybody who has a concern. And remember, some of those tests given are to patients who we want to make sure are no longer sick. Tonight at 6, I'll show you another way to look at these numbers perhaps paint a better picture of what's happening in our state. And if you have a question about any of the numbers, the data being presented by the state, please reach out to us. Let us know. We'll get answers. You can always send us your questions at 11alive.com.